Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the 10 levels of harmony. Now you're going to say, well, other people have already done videos like that. Well, this is actually the 10 levels of harmony that you can use. Now, I'm not just jumping on a bandwagon. As a matter of fact, in my Beato book that I wrote 30 years ago, I've got 20 levels of harmony here, of reharmonization, for this exact chord progression we're going to talk about today, which is the one six. Four, five, which is one of the most common chord progressions in music. In fact, most pop music uses these four chords. We're going to take it from very simple harmonization to a very sophisticated one. Now, I said the 10 levels. There's actually 100 levels that I could come up with or anyone could come up with if you want to dig deep enough. But the importance of this is actually how to use these. Explain where they're derived from and what are the techniques I'm using, whether it's chord substitution, chord replacement, using parallel major or minor voicings, voice leading, and other reharmonization techniques. So we're going to take the chords B flat major, G minor, E flat major, F major, one, six, four, five in the key of B flat. Let's get started. Okay, level one is B flat major, G minor, E flat major, F7, back to B flat major. Level number two, we're gonna have our first chord substitution. So instead of the E flat major, which is the four chord, we're gonna substitute the two chord in its place, which is C minor. So I'm gonna go B flat major to G minor to C minor to F7 back to B flat major. The reason that the two chord is a substitute for four is because they are both predominant chords. In major keys, we have three chord classifications. We have tonic chords, predominant chords, and dominant chords. A tonic chord, which would be the one chord, three chord, or six chord, none of them contain the fourth scale degree. In the key of C, that would be the note F. So C major, E minor, and A minor, none of those chords have the note F in them. Predominant chords have the fourth scale degree, which would be the note F in the key of C. So that'd be D minor, which has the notes D, F, and A. So it's got an F and F major, which obviously has F. And then you have the dominant chords. The dominant chords contain the two unstable notes from the key, the fourth scale degree and the seventh. So G7 and B half diminished both have the notes F and B in them. The next chord substitute is using a secondary dominant. So instead of the G minor chord, we're going to make it a G major chord. So the sixth chord is going to become a five of two. B flat major to five seven of two, then to five seven of five, then to five, then back to one. So I added a five seven of two and a five seven of five. The five seven of five is C seven in place of the C minor. Level number four, we're going to add a tritone substitution in place of the C7 chord, the third chord in the progression. And we're also going to start on B flat major seven, just for a little more color. G7, here's your tritone substitute. That's G flat seven to F7. And then we are going to end on B flat major. Level number five is going to make use of a different tritone substitution. This one's going to be in place of the sixth chord, so the second chord in the progression. So we're going to go B flat major seven, D flat seven, which is a tritone substitute of G seven. But then we're going to go to C seven flat nine flat five, and then to F seven flat nine flat five, and resolve to B flat Lydian. So let's do it again. Level six is going to start to use some more dissonant substitutions. We're going to start here with B flat Lydian major, then A flat minor over G, which gives me a G altered sound, and then a flat sus over C, and then to a really cool F altered sound, right? You got the flat five and the sharp nine, and then I'm gonna resolve it to 
Back to B-flat Lydian. Let's do it again. Let me explain the theory behind these substitutions. So the first chord, B flat Lydian major, is just a Lydian substitution for what would be a one chord. So it's a four chord sound. It just gives that sharp four, it gives that first chord a little bit of tension, so. And then the second chord, A flat minor over G, is really just from G altered dominant. So it's a G7 chord with the alterations. Then it goes up to A flat sus4 over C, which is C altered dominant. And then I go to F7 with the sharp 9 and flat 5, and that comes from F altered dominant. The thing about that voicing that gives it its flavor is the is that flat 9 interval between the sharp 9 and the major 3rd. That's what gives it its tension. So the chords are simply functioning as they were. One, five of six to five of five to five, but I've added alterations on those chords. In level seven, we're gonna use a substitute for the one chord, which is gonna be a D minor sound, in this case, D minor 11. The three chord can always substitute for the one chord. So I'm gonna start on D minor 11 like this. Then I'm gonna to go to, to a G7 altered like that. Okay, I have the flat nine on the top. Then I'm gonna to go to F, sharp major add nine over C, which gives me a C altered sound, to B major add nine over F, and then resolve to B flat major seven sharp five, which is really a D major over B flat. So I'm using these triads over bass notes now, bitonal chords and added note chords. So I have that, that F sharp major add nine over C, which is from the C alter dominant scale. Then I have B add nine over F, which is from the F alter dominant scale. And then once again, the last chord is from the B flat Lydian augmented scale. So Lydian augmented, Lydian, Ionian, all these different modes can substitute for the one chord. So I could play a, a B flat Ionian sound, which would emphasize the sus4. I could play B flat Lydian. I could play B flat Lydian augmented. All is substitutes for the one chord. So any of these chords can have substitutions on them. Level eight takes the added note triad concept to the next level using contrary motion this time. So I'm gonna use a series of added note triads going in different directions with the bass notes, eventually arrive on the tonic chord, but this time the tonic chord is gonna be a three chord. We've talked about the three chord substitute. And I'm gonna start actually on a B major seven, but in third inversion, okay? B flat major over A, but I'm gonna make it a B flat Lydian over A. So B flat Lydian over A. C add four over A flat five. D major over F five. E major add four over E flat five. And then D Aeolian. So the added note triads here, so I've got the Lydian triad or Lydian major, so B flat Lydian major, so F, B flat, D, E, going to the C major add four, to D major, to E major add four, to B flat Lydian, and then I walk it down and put in a little compound fist there with that major seventh on it. In level nine, I'm gonna use some new devices that are even more distant from our original one, six, four, five. I'm gonna start adding some inner note movement. So listen. Okay, so I begin with simply B flat major, then I go to G diminished major seven over A, then quickly to G major seven flat five, same bar. Then I go into this A flat major seven sus two over 
G flat five, and then down to this half diminished with a ninth sound. So it's like a four minor. Then I resolve it to an Aeolian, F Aeolian sound, but then it goes to B flat major 13 sharp five. So I'm using this modal mixture here and voice leading. So the top part of the voicings go and Okay, I'll add the bass notes again. In level nine, there are a few examples of modal interchange where you exchange one mode for the mode that would normally function there. For example, Ionian is the first mode. So if I play B flat Lydian, if I play a voicing with a sharp four, that's really modal interchange. Okay, level 10 is gonna be completely polytonal. I've had bitonality, I've used modal interchange or modal mixture, and now I'll do the full on polytonal. So this will be chord over chord. So I'll start like this with a D major over B flat major. E major over G major, and then F sharp major over C major, B major over F major, and then for good measure, little D Aeolian. Let's take a listen to that again. These are not just random chords, okay? So I've got B flat major and D major together. The D major is on top and it's a B flat Lydian augmented sound, right? The F sharp is that augmented fifth, but it actually has the natural fifth and the augmented fifth in it. Then we go to, to E major over G major. If you think about it this way, it comes out of the G dominant diminished scale. So it actually functions as a, as a six chord, a dominant six chord. Then the two chord is from the C dominant diminished or half whole scale. Okay, it has a flat nine and flat five in it. And then the B major over F major chord is from the F dominant diminished or half whole diminished scale. Then we finish up on this C sus4 over D minor, try it over bass note, which then has a B flat and E in there, which is the flat sixth and the ninth. And then I put these notes in the top. So this is really, once again, modal mixture. So what would normally be a three chord substitute for one, so D minor for B flat, it's really a D minor for B flat, but that D minor, instead of being Phrygian, which goes with the three chord, is actually Aeolian. That's your modal interchange. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first-time viewer, remember to ring the bell. If you're interested in the Beato book, I have a new 3.0 version, and you can find it on my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1, and if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.